Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be having a look at how you can install custom PEDs into add-on slots in the game. So we're going to be installing this PED into a slot that does not yet exist, which is going to be SMYCOP03. So this video is going to be part of a playlist called Learn GTA 5 Morning Albo's Way, and if you haven't checked that out yet, make sure to hit the card in the top right right now, a link is also going to be down below in the description for more tutorials. And for this tutorial in particular, you need to have followed the Morning DLC Pack 5 base installation tutorials, a link for that can also be found in the description and in the card on the top right right now. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we're going to be installing the Enhanced LSPD Cop into a add-on slot this time, so we're going to be clicking download this file and we're going to select the latest head right up over there which is going to be version 4 and we're going to complete the security check and hit the download button and we're going to be saving this PED over inside our download slash GTA 5 mod slash PEDs folder right up over there so we're going to hit the save button and once that is downloaded uh, we are going to be opening the file using WinRAR and we're going to extract it into the folder. And once you've downloaded it, you'll see this folder. We are going to quickly over the README and see what that says. Obviously over here you've got some information about the modification. Um, we are going to be installing this modification as an add-on PED. So for that we are going to be using the modding DLC Pack 5. So for that also we are going to be needing the modding DLC Pack 5 README. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over into the modding DLC Pack 5 download. And we're going to hit the README. And once you've done that, you're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to go over into how to add new add-on PEDs that are not in the game by default. So as you can see, the first thing here we need to do is adding a PEDs.meta entry. So to first things first, we're going to open OpenIV. We're going to go over into Windows of Grand Theft Auto 5. And once that is opened, we are going to be going over into our favorites menu like we have done before in the previous tutorial videos. And we're going to go over into the modding slash dlc.rpf shortcut, which is the shortcut for this path up over here. And after that, we're going to be going over into common, data, and we're going to find pets.meta. We are going to be activating edit mode, and we're going to be going over into pets.meta. We're going to right click that and hit the edit. Now, once that is opened, you can see that we can add PEDS.Meta entries up over here. So for every add-on PED you add into the game, you're going to need a new PEDS.Meta entry, otherwise the game is not going to recognize the new slot you are installing it into. So most PEDS do not come with any PEDS.Meta entries. So for that reason, the Modding DLC Pack 5 uh, has included a base meta for the PEDS.Meta that works for most COP PEDS. This works for nearly every release PED that is out there. It has a, both a male and a female version. So we're going to open that file up and have a look what that looks like. And as you can see, we've got a first entry here, which is going to be for a male police ped. And the second entry, which starts up over here, is going to be for a female police ped. So today we're going to be installing a male police ped. So we're going to have to use the male police ped entry. So again, we're going to be copying this entry over into our pets.meta. Make sure you take very great care in doing this properly, otherwise your game is going to crash. So place your cursor right before the opening bracket of the item tag. Hold the mouse button down and scroll down. All the way down to the close bracket of the slash item tag. Place your cursor right after that, just like I've done it now. I'm going to right click and hit copy or press Ctrl C on the keyboard. And then we're going to go over into our PEDS.Meta in OpenIV. And as you can see, we need to add all PEDS entries here. So we're going to place our cursor right up over there and hit the Paste button. As you can see, our PEDS.Meta entry has just been copied right up over into this file. So we are going to be installing this new custom PED into a new slot for PEDS in the game that does not exist by default. And we're going to be calling that uh, SMYCOP03. So what we need to do in the PEDS.Meta entry is rename the name over to what you want to name it. So we are going to be calling it SMYCOP03. That is exactly what you want to name it as. And the same needs to be done for the props name, except the props name has an underscore P at the end of it. So as you can see, what you can quite simply do is you can copy all of this. Make sure you don't copy any of the brackets. Hit the copy button and then copy it into here. Make sure you don't remove the underscore P. So you can hit backspace on the compressed paste 
As you can see, it is now called SMYCOP03 underscore P, which is just this name with an underscore P after it. And once you've done that, you are pretty much good to go for this entry. You can quite simply hit the save button and it'll be saved uh, into the PEDSOP meta. Now, once you've done that, you still need to add the actual PED files uh, into OpenIV, which is what we are going to be doing in step two. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to go over into the PED download and we are going to be looking for all the files that do not end in underscore P. So remember the underscore P files are prop files. We are not looking for these files because these end in underscore P. We are just looking for these files because these are all the files that do not end in underscore P. Now remember that we are installing this PED into a slot called SMYCOP03. So what we need to do is we, we, we need to rename all of these files to SMYCOP03. Just like that. Make sure you do not change the extension, just the file name. So we need to do that for every of these files. So you can right click, hit rename, and then change it over to a 3. And do that for all the files. Quite simply like that. And once you've done that, you're going to be opening OpenIV once again. And we're going to go back into our favorites and then modding slash dlc.rpf, which is going to be a shortcut for this path. We're going to go over into x64, models, cd images, and then component peds.rpf. And we are going to be activating the edit mode. And after that, you can quite simply drag and drop all of these files into here. So hold control while clicking on the files to select them all and then drag and drop them over into OpenIV. If you're not able to drag and drop files into OpenIV, again, you can quite simply hit the plus button up over here and then navigate into your downloads slash GTA 5 mod slash PEDS, enhanced cop files, and then select all of these files that we just renamed. Select all of them by holding control on the keyboard and clicking them and hit the open button and they will be imported into OpenIV just like that. Now all we still need to do is add the underscore p files. These do not go in here. These go in the component peds underscore p dot rpf. So open the component peds underscore p dot rpf. And as you can see, we've already got some underscore p prop files in there. Um, those underscore p files can be found up over here. So remember, Again, to rename these files to the model name, followed by underscore p and the extension. So remember, we are going to be installing our PED into the SMYCOP03 slot. Uh, that means we need to rename this to SMYCOP03 underscore p and then the extension. And the same goes for this file. So right click and hit rename. And quite simply just replace the file name followed by underscore p dot the extension. And once you've done that, you can select both of these files by holding Ctrl on the keyboard and clicking them and drag and drop them over into OpenIV. Again, alternatively, you can click the plus button and go over to these files, hold Ctrl on the keyboard and click them and hit the open button. And once you've done that, we're going to go back over into the readme. And as you can see, the steps for installing new add-on PEDs that are not in the game by default uh, have now been completed successfully. To close this readme, we can deactivate edit mode and close open IV. And what we're now going to do is try and spawn this in the game and we'll have a look at how the ped looks. So also now if you're crashing while you're loading into the game after just having installed an add-on ped, you might have incorrectly copied the peds.meta entry in. Make sure you follow the instructions exactly as I did them on screen and make sure you didn't copy over any brackets unintentionally or that kind of thing. Or you may have installed a corrupt pet model into your game uh, and you may need to contact the author to get that fixed. But that is very unlikely as you can see, mine just works fine. And what we are going to be doing is we are going to be going over into the F3 trainer and into model spawning. And now the model isn't going to be in these menus so we need to actually type the model name ourselves because it, because it is our own custom model name. We're going to type S underscore M underscore Y underscore cop underscore zero three. And we are going to hit enter. And as you can see, we are put into our police uniform that we just installed into the SMY COP03. So we can also now do, because we did install the props for that slot, we can go over into the clothes menu. And the props for this ped are a hat. As you can see, we've got a hat there. And also we've got some glasses, which you can change around if you like that as well. 
So that pretty much concludes the tutorial on how to install add-on pads into new slots in your game. So I do hope this helped you out, if it did make sure to hit the like button on the video, and if you haven't done so yet make sure to subscribe as well for future content and tutorials, and to make sure you do not miss those. And if you haven't checked out the other tutorials yet, uh, make sure to check out the Learn GTA 5 Modding Albo's Way playlist, and the card for that should be on screen right now. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.